What is up you guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys exactly five stocks that I personally recommend for you to be buying this month. So there has been a huge sell off last month in the market and a lot of people are wondering, you know, if we're gonna continue seeing a sell off. I personally think we're gonna, we're still bullish in the market. I do think the first half of the year is gonna be a bit choppy, but long-term investing, I do think it's a great, great buying opportunity currently. The reason why I think it's gonna be choppy the first half is because we're dealing with a lot of supply chain issues and inflation as well. But I personally think there are great buying opportunities as well, especially that we saw a huge, huge sell-off in the beginning of the year for January. There was a huge sell-off. So I do think we are still bullish in the market. I do think we're gonna have a big run-up as well. So I'm gonna be talking about five stocks that I actually recommend for you to be checking out this month. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. It really, really helps me out, especially that this channel is new. I'm actually gonna be posting daily content now. So what I do full-time is I actually sell on Amazon full-time as well. I do day trading as well. And this, this was basically has allowed me to be here in Miami and live on my own terms. I'm gonna try to help out as much as I can. So if you're into day trading, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting all my live trades on there on my stories. That way you can actually see it as soon as possible because you know, YouTube, there's always kind of a delay. You know, it's sometimes I can't post it urgently, especially if it's a day trade, it's not gonna happen. So all my day trades are gonna be there. And I'm also gonna be teaching you guys how to sell on Amazon. So if you're interested in selling on Amazon, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be trying to make a free, free mini course. There's a lot of fake gurus out there and a lot of fake phonies that say they do things and do this and that. And honestly, it's all cool with me, but I'm trying to show you guys and show you, you know, it is possible. It is possible to sell on Amazon and make a full-time living. I actually have two companies and everything's in Amazon's warehouse. I don't have inventory in my house at all and they basically ship it, pack it, deliver it. It's all Amazon Prime, so all the customers get it in one day. And I'm gonna try and show you guys how to do the same thing as well. So, but we're today we're talking about stocks, right? So, I'm getting off topic. So today we're talking about five stocks that you should be buying this month. Let me go on the laptop real quick here and show you guys my thoughts on the stocks that you should be buying this month and those stocks that I'm actually loading up this month as well. So the first company I'm gonna be actually talking about is Rocket. Rocket is definitely, definitely underrated. I personally think in the next couple of years, this stock is gonna be trading at around $100. I'm very, very biased on this stock. So I, I just, I don't see why it's so low compared to how much money they actually make every quarter. So this company owns a lot. This is a tech company and it just IPO'd recently, so it doesn't have a lot of hype behind it, but mortgage is still going up. People are buying homes left and right. So I do think, I did draw a Fibonacci on this retracement. So I'm gonna show you guys my buying uh, zone. I've had this on for a couple of months. So, and it's finally hidden. So I've been loading up on positions. I actually own around So I actually own around 3,000 shares of Rocket and I've loaded up positions here because this is a great buying opportunity. Right when it hit below $12, I started loading up. I still think it's a great buying opportunity. Anything between $12 and $13 is a great, great long-term buying opportunity in the market. So we're gonna go here and show you guys exactly. It hit the fib, it went down. The lowest I can see it hitting is $10. I don't personally think it's gonna hit that, but this I drew this Fibonacci tracement just to give me an idea of what to see. And it did hit 43, so I drew that there. I just think that we're not gonna see it below 12, 12 $11. I don't, I honestly, I think next quarter you're beat and it starts trending up from there. Square had the same thing. When it first IPO'd, it was trading at 11, $12. Now it hit the as of last year it went to two hundred dollars, which is a huge, huge increase. So if you had ten thousand dollars, 
that changed to two hundred thousand dollars so not saying that rocket's gonna hit two hundred dollars but i do think it has a lot a lot of potential long term i guarantee you it'll hit twenty dollars very very soon that's a that's a pretty much an almost double growth so you know you could invest in here i personally am investing long term in rocket i do think it's a great long term hold they are buying out companies as well and their tech they're an app and this the easiest way to get a mortgage is through this company so i personally have loaded up positions i do think it's a great buying opportunity at this month as well anything below 1488 is a great great buying opportunity long term so let's talk about the next company that I personally think is a great, great buying opportunity. It is Posair Gaming. This company is a great company. I do think that it's, it might go even a bit lower just because of the supply chain issues that we're gonna be having this year. I currently sell on Amazon, so I deal with a bunch of supply chain issues. Like, especially this year, I've had a shipment from November and I just got it today and that's what is that like three months usually it takes about two three weeks but there has been cargo shipments outside the port of Long Beach just waiting to get into the port like hundreds and hundreds of cargo ships so there's gonna be a lot of su supply chain issue the first half of the year without a doubt it's gonna it's gonna hurt sales revenue so we might see some bad earnings maybe next quarter could be possible we might see this um go a little bit lower but i do think it's a great long-term buying opportunity i do think Cosair gaming is a great company they have and you know everything's becoming tech they have one of the best um ram sticks they're the coolest i i mean i know about this company just because i work online and I built a PC myself and I just know about it. So Cosair is a great company long term in my opinion. And they just recently IPO'd which gives it a good buying opportunity. So they IPO'd, it was at around $14. And it has dropped, the stock has dropped all the way to the $17 range. Almost where it IPO'd. Right when it IPO'd, it went all the way up to $51 and what i like to see here the most is i like to look at the rsi and you can see that the rsi is slightly oversold here so it has gone up a bit i'm not sure if we're gonna see a complete uptrend but i do think this is a great buying opportunity i drew this blue rectangle as my target for buying long-term positions in the company same thing with rocket i did draw a blue rectangle there as my target for buying long term adding slowly i don't buy all at once but i buy in increments that way i don't mess up and i kind of average out the cost so Cosair, i do think is a great buying opportunity as well and next stock i'm going to be talking about as well is zillow zillow at one point was 208 dollars which is insane and it dropped all the way to $44 as of um, the end of last month. I do think long term this company is a great long term company to hold. I do think people, when people look for real estate they go on Zillow. There's no other place and I do think especially this big sell off was because of them having a terrible earnings of them trying to flip homes as well. So it's kind of crazy how this whole thing happened. They tried to make money flipping homes but I do think Zillow is a great stock as well. I drew a blue rectangle here to show you guys my target of buying and loading positions here. And we are at that level. It has touched this Fibonacci retracement and it's climbing up back slowly. I do see the RSI here showing it's slightly oversold. And I would personally like to see the MACD climb up a bit before I load up positions. But I do think Zillow is a great buying opportunity long term and it's not going anywhere everybody knows about zillow and it's a great long-term company the next company i'm going to be talking about is uber uber is an awesome awesome company they actually just beat earnings today but it's not really showing it in the stocks right here in the chart so i'm here on the weekly chart 
to show you guys and I like to use this because it gives me a, a, a perspective especially with the Fibonacci I drew here it has bounced off this we're not showing that it's very uptrending at the moment but I do think long term this stock is a great stock to be owning if I could have bought it here at $13 that would have been awesome but long term I do think $30 is a great great buying point especially I do think Uber is going to be having in the future um, I do personally think Uber is going to be like the taxi it's going to be a, they're going to part I I think they're going to partner with Tesla and they're going to have taxis with no drivers and they're going to be able to do that whole system without drivers in a couple of years I personally think that maybe two three years from now it might happen call me crazy but I do think it's gonna happen very 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 soon so I do think uber is a great company to hold long term and if they do that it's gonna be pure profit for them I do think in the future as well we're gonna have the same exact thing for groceries and other things where it's gonna be pretty much automated and it can be delivered to you with no driver I actually see like delivery robots here in Brickell in this little shopping center around here I've seen them just as a test they're testing them out to see if it might work or not so they are working on it it has it's gonna happen eventually I don't know when but it's gonna happen so Uber might be a great great uh, company to own Lyft as well I do think it's gonna increase profits very very tremendously it's gonna be a big big money maker and the last one I'm gonna be talking about is Rivian eh, I'm kind of like Rivian hasn't shown anything but it might be a good uh, company to own long term not at this price point though I would not buy it around $64 so the price point I would buy Rivian would be around $40 or below. I mean, it's crazy to see that Rivian went to $180 when it IPO'd. Everybody that traded stocks and knows stocks knew that was this it makes no sense because they just they just IPO'd. They have no car sales, no earnings. They're backed up by Amazon, which is a great PR. But you know, you need proof, you need backup. That's very similar to Nikola, which was the most gimmick. I called it, I called it, it was gonna be the most bullshit company alive. And, and it shows, like look at the stock price now. It's crazy to see that, but I called it and I, I knew that guy was full of it, so. I should have I should have bought a huge put on it and made so much money. I should have bought a put on Rivian as well, but I didn't. So I do think Rivian is a buy though, but around thirty to forty dollar range, I would not touch it at sixty four dollars. I do think we're gonna see it go lower, maybe some bad earnings, and then and then we might see it pick up as well. But as of now, I wouldn't touch it. Long term perspective, then maybe. So hopefully you like this video guys. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you can. It really, really helps me out. Um, and that's about it. Hopefully you like this video and peace.